Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice exponential equation. Let's use the first method here. We're taking the ln on both sides, we have ln 64 raised to power x equals to ln x raised to power 192. And from here, we apply the law of logarithm log n raised to power p. This same thing as p log m then we have x ln 64 now equals to 192 ln x and from what we have here we can write 64 as 3 to power 6 so we have x ln 2 raised to power 6 now equals to 192 ln x and also taking 6 here this becomes 6 x ln 2 now equals to 192 ln x and from here we can divide 2 by 6 that is here we have x ln 2 left which is equal to here we have 32 ln x and here let's divide both sides by 32 x and here we have we have 32 x that is this side we have x ln 2 over 32 x then equals to 32 ln x over 32x which implies that here x we cancel x we have ln 2 over 32 equals to here 32 cancel out we have ln x over x and from what we have here let's multiply this side by 8 so we have equivalent fraction as 8 ln 2 over 8 times 32 which is equal to ln x over x and here we can also rewrite 8 times 32 here as 2 raised to power 8 so we have 8 ln 2 over 2 raised to power 8 equals to ln x over x and here we can separate this and write this again from here this is 1 over 2 raised to power 8 which is 2 raised to power minus 8 then multiply by 8 ln 2 equals to also here we have 1 over x which is x raised to power minus 1 then times ln x that is from here we can equally write 2 raised to power minus 8 and x raised to power minus 1 again from when we have exponent ln a same thing as a so here we can write it as exponent ln 2 raised to power minus 8 then times 8 ln 2 now equals to also here we have exponent ln x raised to power minus 1 then times ln x and this power here from the law of logarithm we can take it here and we have exponent minus 8 ln 2 then times 8 ln 2 here which is equal to also exponent minus ln x and times ln x which also we can write as 8 ln 2 exponent minus 8 ln 2 equals to ln x exponent minus ln x then we apply the W Lambert function when we have W A x 
exponent a here the same thing as a and from what we have here the power is almost the same thing as the coefficient here just that is different by minus here so that means here multiplied through by minus one and the here become minus eight ln two then exponent minus eight ln two now equals to here we have minus ln x the exponent minus ln x then when we apply this number theory function to both side here then here we have w minus 8 ln 2 then exponent minus 8 ln 2 equals to also w minus ln x then exponent minus ln x then from here this equals minus 8 ln 2 and also here this become minus ln x and here minus here we cancel out then we reverse this law of logarithm then this is ln 2 raised to power 8 equals to ln x and here which means that 2 raised to power 8 is 2 multiplied with every sign which is 256 so we have ln 256 equals to ln x and here since when we have ln a equals to ln b we have a equals to b so therefore here we can conclude that x is equals to 256 so we have the value of x here then we can use another method here what we are given here we raise both sides to power 1 over x so we have 64 raised to power x then raised to power 1 over x equals to x raised to power 192 then also raised to power 1 over x and here from the law of indices this power multiplies when we have a raised to power n raised to power n this is a raised to power m n then it implies that here x cancel x here we have 64 now equals to here this multiplies we have x raised to power 192 over x that is next step Let's raise both sides as well to 1 over 182. So here multiply by 1 over 192. And also here we have 1 over 192. And here this power 192 cancel each other here. Then we have 64 raised to power 1 over 192. Now equals to x raised to power 1 over x. And from here, we can express 64 as 2 raised to power 6, then raised to power 192, then equals to x raised to power 1 over x. And here, 6 here 1, 6 here, we have 32. That is, we have what is left here as 2 raised to power 1 over 32 now equals to x raised to power 1 over x then we can also express this fraction as 2 over 64 so we have 2 raised to power 2 over 64 here equals to x raised to power 1 over x and here we can separate this as 2 raised to power 2 then raised to power 1 over 64 this is equals to x raised to power 1 over x and the uh, 2 raised to power 2 here yeah, that's 4 then raised to power 1 over 64 equals to x raised to power 1 over x and also the equivalent fraction of 1 over 64 
is 2 over 128. So we have 4 raised to the power 2 over 128 equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. Also separating this as 4 square raised to the power 1 over 128. That equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. Then 4 square that's 16 raised to the power 1 over 128 equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. Then also here 1 over 128 is now written as 2 over 256. So we have 6 raised to the power 2 over 256 equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. And when we separate as well, we have 16 square, then raised to the power 1 over 256 equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. That is here, 16 square, same thing as 256, then raised to the power 1 over 256 equals to x raised to the power 1 over x. And when we compare this with what we have, we can conclude here that x equals to 256. So whichever way we have the same answer as 256 from this given problem. So the value of x here now is same thing as 256. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel and also become a member and thank you see you next class and bye for now